You know, like college basketball, you get to March and survive in advance. And so uh, we are not there yet, um, even though tonight's game had a lot of feel like that. I mean, our, our guys understand what they're playing for. Um, so I think in a night where not much went our way in terms of the game, uh, just to find a way to win, you know, to be down nine at home and feel the pressure of what was going on for the guys to respond and kind of chip away. I thought we did it on the defensive end. And I thought we did a good job, you know, getting more aggressive with our offense in the second half and letting the free throw help us. Whenever you're trying to make a comeback, free throw is the best shot you can shoot because the clock stops and you get a little rest. Um, a lot of respect uh, for Missouri. Um, you know, that's a team. Tonight's game is a lot like their season. They've been in every game. They've had multiple chances to be on the other side of the scoreboard. And, um, you know, I predict there's a lot of basketball left. So I predict Missouri is going to do some things here down the stretch. But... Um, you know, hats off to them. A lot of our struggles tonight um, were because of them and how connected they were as a group. Um, so a lot, lot of respect for them. Any questions for TJ? I'm really proud of TJ tonight. Um, and it's, it's hard to come in a game like that and, and those kind of pressure free throws late, but for him to step up and hit obviously the biggest free throws of the game one after another. Um, and I thought his basket late second half when Juju drove and uh, pitched it to him for TJ to get downhill with his talent and athleticism. I thought it was the biggest basket of the game. And then I thought he made some clutch free throws down the stretch. TJ, what's the mindset like in that last minute where you're the guy at the line, you have to make those shots? Uh, you know, just uh, the work I put in, just uh, having to finish the game, staying together with my team, knowing my teammates believe in me. So. TJ, how, where's your comfort level when you and, and Matt are kind of the one and two? You were needed. Uh, how what is your comfort level when, when you and Matt are kind of the one and the two out there? It looked like uh -huh. maybe that's kind of when the offense started going tonight. Just just what were you seeing working with him? Oh, uh, you know, just uh running the offense, moving without the ball, moving with the ball, uh setting screens, you know, just keeping the offense going and uh, getting a good shot up. TJ, you down you guys were down ten second half. What was what was the difference from that point on? You guys kind of Got back. Oh, you know, uh, you know, at halftime, we just uh, we gotta stay stone faced, stay together, keep working, keep chipping away to uh, our defense, offense, and just staying together, finishing the game. TJ, coach, kind of mentioned there, you know, the pressure, no, knowing what you're playing for. Um, I guess, w w what's that like going through that for the first time? You know, um, given how last year went, how are you kind of handling that? Uh, I mean, it's kind of regular because, you know, I mean, the work I put in, I can't really be scared of anything. So I just go out there and try to uh, do my best, show what I've been working on.